Dharmesh Shah of ICICI Direct is joining in for a technical check on the market. Dharmesh, the fact that we've given up 150 points from the day's high and are now uh, absolutely flat, does that indicate that uh, the bias on the market is still on the downside and we are headed for lower levels? Good afternoon, Reema. Yes, definitely. If you look at the market, market seems to be getting sold off even after the gap of opening. And the one thing was disappointing that yesterday Zyber was not taken out even after the sharp gap of opening. So we believe, I think, so market should get stabilized around 16,817,000. 17, we don't expect market to see 16,800 to breach. This market is into more sold territory. We expect the market to see a technical bounce back, which I think so once the stability is done maybe by next week. So yes, I think so. I would not go short at this level, maybe because the levies are getting sold off. But I believe, I think so, if you look at the historical data, market requires some bit of a stability or we request or like the things get stable. So we really feel, I think so, the market will see a stability going forward. Yes, current volatility cannot be ruled out. Downside 16,800 remains to be the very strong support which we expect to hold. And maybe we see the technical pullback in next week by 22nd of March. You're expecting a tactical pullback in the markets and the Nifty to hold on to levels of 16,800 on the way down, right? To summarize? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, what so, about... Uh, yeah, yeah. What about stocks? Yeah, in terms of stocks, we remain to be positive for the PSU sector as a... We remain, I think, so that for the PSU as a sector, index has seen a consolid long consolidation breakout. Instead, the PSU space, defense space, remains to be more positive. In defense, we remain to be positive for Bharat Electronics. If you look at the chart of the Bharat Electronics, since 2020, the stock seems to be taking a multiple support at 52-week moving average. If you look at the current context, the 52-week moving average was placed at around 91. Stock seems to be trading around 94. We believe, I think, so once the things market gets stabilized, we see a PSU as a sector defense should outperform. And where Bharat Electronics remains to be our top pick for target of 110, keeping a stop loss of 87. Thank you very much, uh, Dharmesh, for joining in, betting big on BEL. Uh, let's now go across to Vivek. He's joining in for our segment Mid-Cap Movers. Vivek, that's the only spot which is currently in the green, right? Well, you're absolutely right. You know, it's another day we're actually seeing a little bit of an outperformance as far as the broader end of the markets are concerned. And in fact, select stocks are buzzing with strong volumes as well. So some activity is back as far as the broader end of the markets is concerned. First on our list, you know, Ramkrishna forging and Titagar wagons on the back of the order win, uh, you know, regarding the railway sets, this particular stocks are moving higher in today's trading session. A uh, couple of... Uh, uh, you know, when you're talking about the auto ancillary space, Varak Engineering up almost 4.5% in the session. Shankara Bilkon, after a long time, is buzzing in today's trading session. And Mrs. Bechters, you know, again, this particular stock, after a long trading range where it was quite stable, today is moving higher with strong volumes. Uh, one section of the market that's doing really well in today's trading session, bouncing back from recent lows, is the Pharma pack. So names like Gland Pharma, Biocon, Aurobindo Pharma, you know, good move in today's trading session. Solara Active. All of these stocks are higher in today's trading session. Some stocks that are buzzing with strong volumes, you know, when you're talking about names like IEX, you know, some positive news in terms of power demand, power prices. Also, you know, companies with uh, higher gas volumes will be allowed to trade on the exchanges. That's aiding this particular name. Krishna Diagnostics continues its move higher. Varun Beverages as well as EKI Energy. All of these stocks are moving higher with strong volumes. On the other hand, some of the stocks that are losing in today's trading session, uh, some profit booking seen in Ola Green Tech, uh, also seeing uh, you know profit booking and you know lower lows as far as Phoenix Mill is concerned, and Supreme Industries today down on strong volumes. Thank you very much for that comprehensive list. Uh, let's slip into a break. On the other side, we'll connect with Malik Patel, the chairman and MD of Make Money Fine Camp. Stay tuned.